Day 19, February 10. I left Harper's Ferry this morning in my car and met my cousin Susan and her husband Bill at the parking lot of the Bears Den Hostel. And they were kind enough to bring me back to Harper's Ferry where I left off yesterday and picked up there. And it's been, um, if I saw from the elevation profile at the beginning, it's an uphill day. And it's been uphill right out of the gate. I'm actually about two miles into it and it's still going up. So we're making progress. But I messed up yesterday because I forgot on the last video where I challenged the Grands to, to tell me the number of states I'd been in um, and bonus points if you could name them. Well, I failed to point out that when I crossed the Potomac River on the footbridge yesterday, I entered West Virginia. So there's my third state. And the other two, for a total of three so far, were Maryland and Pennsylvania. So, who got it right? And Eli, I hope you're feeling better, buddy. I know you had your five-year-old shots yesterday, but you're tough. Go for it. Murphy, you're right behind him before too long. Ollie, you got a bit to wait. And for Carter and Allie and Nat Nat, I know you miss your dad. I hope you're being good for your mom. I know dad had to leave on short notice, but he's doing some important stuff for the country. He'll be back when he can. And good luck to the Skinner family, Jada and Brian and Phoenix and Malachi as you move from one rental to the next, that will be a process for you. So it's all good. These rocks are going to be very <coughs> annoying. There's a slow go. I actually have made it up that first climb and I'm going across the top of the ridge line. So it's, it's been flat, no complaint there. But it's these rocks all over the place. A jumble. Very difficult to make good time, but at least it's flat. Hmm. Not sure of this. Maybe bear scat right on the trail. Quick day, I'm already at the shelter. Give you a quick tour and fill you in on a couple things that those uh, elevation profiles can be deceiving because, um, yeah, you did the elevation that it says, but there are some flat spots along those hills that um, give you a good rest and regroup for the next. But anyway, this is kind of like a compound. That's a picnic pavilion which actually has, I saw it in the still picture, a porch swing. And down the hill from that, you probably can't see them. You might be able to make out a few things as they slowly go. But this is, the, they call it the campground tent, tenting area, where they've got tent pads and things of this nature. And you saw the pictures of the shelter. Here it is top to bottom. David Lesser shelter. Eek. Oh duh. And open face. So I've checked the wind because it's supposed to get windy tonight. I'm picking this corner right here. 
It's gonna block the wind the best, but because I got here so early, I've dragged my stuff out to dry somewhat. It always gets damp. So let me just show you real quick what I carry. The light blue on the right is actually my uh, pad that I put down underneath my air mattress. It's, to, uh, it's my anti-hole uh, sheet. And this is the air mattress with pillow. And this is my sleeping bag I use, mummy style. The pillow actually uh, goes, there's a compartment right inside the uh, head portion of this. And for added warmth, because that's only a 20 degree bag, which in reality is good to about 40 degrees. I've been out here in the low 20s. So I supplement that with my old army poncho liner, which is basically a quilted blanket that I put inside the sleeping bag. And this air mattress actually has an R value of like seven or eight. Um, somebody told me about it and it actually works. My first sleeping pad, the cold ground went right through it. So over here, obviously, uh, there's my pack. Um, on the left, that blue thing, I carry clothes in. Clean uh, and dirty. Those are my down booties to keep my feet warm on those very cold nights. The purple bag is my food bag. And this blue one contains my coffee cup and a little stove that I use. And then that completes the tour. So a couple milestones today before I finish. The I hit went over the 200 mile mark today. And I think I'm at like 205 and also hit my fourth state. I am now in Virginia. So thanks back to the car tomorrow at Bears Den Hostel. Head to the cabin for the weekend. Enjoy your day. Hope to see you on the trail. It is day 20, February 11, Friday. You probably can't see anything because it's still dark out. I'm getting an early start today at 6.10. Hopefully my headlamp will be bright enough to find my way through the woods. I'll be back in touch. Oh. Let there be light. I guess it's because my headlamp is on. Camera to also come on. I don't know. Anyway, I'm off. So again, you might be able to see me this time. It's obviously light enough. I have turned my headlamp off. I'll need a new one. I'm going to do much of this dark hiking, which I am not planning on, but the one I have now definitely isn't bright enough to pick out, barely pick out the trail, let alone any rocks or other obstacles in the trail. But, yeah, cool. You can see behind me, the sun's still rising, but clearly light enough uh, for me to be on, on the trail now, so. At least that was uh, short-lived. So I think it's 11 and a half, 12 miles to Bears Den Hostel today. I'll hit the northern end of what's called the roller coaster, it's a, which is a 14-mile stretch of the AT that goes up, down, up, down, up, down. I'll do five miles of that today, and then I'll hit Bears Den Hostel. So enjoy your day. Hope to see you on the trail.
should move. There's three in front of him. Up in here. Now you might see some movement there. Good morning, family. Pawpaw's obviously not on the trail because I forgot to do my closing video yesterday. So where's Papa? I'll bet you a bunch of you can guess. We are at the cabin. So yesterday was wildlife day on the trail. I never saw any, but I heard a bunch of turkey. I saw at least seven or eight deer. And Mr. Red Fox was walking down the trail towards me and quickly turned around and ran the other way when he saw me. So, so far, I've been in four states. I'm now in the northern part of Virginia, still working south. I've done about 225 miles. Um, and what I've finding so far is one of the hardest things is the long nights. It gets dark so early, even though it's, it is better now that it's February. But uh, Papa ends up in his sleeping bag at, when it gets dark to stay warm, and then it doesn't get light for another 12 hours. So that's probably been the biggest adjustment. So I'm off trail for a few days because I have a tooth uh, that fell out. Actually, an implant tooth broke off while I was out on the trail about three weeks ago. And that's a process to get that thing repaired. And step two in the process is early next week. Um, but right after that, I plan uh, my next steps are three days, two nights out. That will take me from Bears Den Hostel to the northern end of Shenandoah National Park. 
And this weekend, uh, my plan is to take a look and try to figure out where to from there. Should I go try and go through Shenandoah National Park? Should I skip it and work my way south of that? So more to follow. So hope you have a good day. Hope to see you all on the trail.